transmission of HTV from the station. The spacecraft will start to slowly drift away and controllers here will begin to retract the arm. Standing by for release. Snares are open. A successful 12.36 p.m. Central Time release off, the Western, off of Western Quebec, Canada. The Canada Arm 2 backs away slowly. A successful 12.36 p.m. Central Time release off, the West, off of Western Quebec, Canada. There are a couple of milestones we will see HTV-9 meet this afternoon. HTV retreat has been commanded and the phased elapsed timer has been started. Here's some copies. HTV-9 will conduct a series of departure burns to move it to a safe distance from the station. The first milestone will be to cross the keep out sphere where which is an imaginary nine excuse me, which is an imaginary boundary around the station with a two hundred kilometer radius.
It will keep heading away from the station and will stand by until it makes its way out of the approach, approach ellipsoid, a final marker that signifies a visiting vehicle's final departure out the neighborhood of the International Space Station. Station Houston on 24 HTB, safety net enabled. We're about one minute out from that first burn. Station Houston on 24 HTB, IDM 1 maneuver loaded. Monitor per step 2 in 1.602. Copy, 1.602. Monitor per step First departure maneuver underway. Station Houston on 24 HTB. IDM 1 maneuver complete. Verify per step 3 in 1.602. You just. Copy, IDM. One complete, verify in step three and work. You just heard a call about the IDM-1, the first of two burns to get out of the keep out sphere. That five second burn got us closer to reaching the keep out sphere imaginary line. The second burn or the IDM-2 is about 10 minutes later and will be about 14 seconds long. Houston block three complete, nominal. Yes, and copies.
you are currently seeing a live view of the computer screen on board the space station. This view of the workstation inside the cupola is called the cuckoo, and it provides telemetry of the HTV throughout its departure. On the bottom right, you can see a value, VV to ISS, that will be the approximate range in meters and rate at which it is departing the station. We are currently about 30 meters away from the ISS, or the International Space Station. This will be a slow process, but once it is but once it is out of the keep-out sphere, well, there will be another burn to get it outside the keep-out sphere, and that will be here shortly in about four or five minutes. After the second departure burn, Kunatari 9 will pick up a little speed to get out of the keep-out sphere, the imaginary boundary around the station with a 200-kilometer radius. Again, a great release at 12.36 p.m. Central Time, HTV is now in retreat mode, approximately 39 meters away from the International Space Station.
This will be the final station departure of JAXA's first generation Kunotari or white stork cargo craft, nine of which have delivered more than 40 tons of supplies to space station crews. JAXA is developing a new fleet of HTV cargo craft, the HTV-X, which is targeted for its first launch in 2022. Station Houston on two for HTV, IDM two maneuver loaded. Monitor per step four in one decimal six zero two. Copy, we see IDM two monitoring block four, step four. The second burn has been completed. Now that the second departure burn has been completed, Kunatari 9 will pick up a little speed to get out of the keep out sphere. You are currently seeing a live view of the computer screen on board the space station. This workstation inside the cupola module is called the Cuckoo and it provides telemetry of the HTV through its departure. On the bottom right, you can see a value VV to ISS. That will be the approximate range in meters and rate at which it is departing the station. Station Houston on two for HTV. IDM two maneuver complete. Verify past step five in one decimal six zero two. Twenty four hour safety trajectory confirmed. Copy all and step five is verified. Houston copies.
The second departure burn completed, confirmed by Capcom Norshige Kanai, JAXA astronaut and veteran space flyer. Station Houston 2 for HTB, abort type set to passive, verify per step 6 in 1.602. Uh, affirmative, we see passive and step 6 is verified. Houston copies. Approximately 134 meters away from the station, HTV will shortly be approaching that keep out sphere line. Station Houston on 2 for HTB, you are go for step 7 of the robotic procedure 1.420. We are currently about two minutes from exiting the keep out sphere.
and we have exited the keep out sphere. Station Houston on 24 HTB. HTB has exited the 200 meter keep out of sphere. Thank you, Chris and Ivan, for the great work. With that, all crew steps are complete successfully and you are released. Okay, copy that, uh, Houston. It's been a real honor for the members of Expedition 63, Anatoly, Ivan. Bob, Doug, and myself to uh, to welcome HTV, conduct operations in it, and uh, now to be part of its departure on the ninth spaceship of the class. Uh, much congratulations to our colleagues and friends at JAXA. Because of HTV. Thank you, Chris, for the kind words. HTV is the last Japanese cargo vehicle of the series yet. This final departure is the beginning of a new chapter for our international partner who is developing next generation cargo vehicle, HTV-X. With upgraded capability of new vehicle, we will expand our activity in space, not only on ISS, but beyond low Earth orbit. We look forward to seeing HTV-X in near future. Till then, farewell, HTB. Arigato, sayonara, konotori. Here in Mission Control Houston, Capcom Norishige Kanai just gave his final words and congratulatory remarks for the HTB-9 vehicle. NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy also shared his final thoughts and congratulatory remarks on the crew on the ground here and in Scuba Japan. Now released, HTV-9 will drift slowly away from the station where it will reach a safe distance. And on Thursday, August 20th, a final deorbit burn will be conducted to send HTV into a fiery descent back into the Earth's atmosphere where it will harmlessly burn up over the Pacific Ocean.
again a great release at 12.36 p.m. Central Time. HTV is now in retreat mode. It has met a couple of milestones this afternoon. First, those two departure burns that enabled HTV to cross the keep out sphere, which is an imaginary boundary around the station with a 200 kilometer radius. It will keep heading away from the station and will stand by until it makes its way out of the approach ellipsoid, a final marker that signifies a visiting vehicle's final departure out of the neighborhood of the International Space Station. On Thursday, August 20th, a final deorbit burn will be conducted to send HTV into a fiery descent back into the Earth's atmosphere, where it will harmlessly burn up over the Pacific Ocean. This is not goodbye. JAXA is currently developing a new generation HTV cargo craft, the HTV-X, which could be launched as early as 2022, that will carry even more supplies to the station than the current version. This will be the final station departure of JAXA's first generation Kunatari or White Stork cargo craft, nine of which have delivered more than 40 tons of supplies to space station crews. JAXA is developing a new fleet of HTV cargo craft, the HTV-X, which is targeted for its launch in 2022. Eleven years after the launch of the H-2 transfer cargo vehicle (HTV) the International Space, to the International to the International Space Station, this is the final flight for this generation of spacecrafts.
Knoxville Station on uh, two. Just let me know when you're ready for Astro Beef. A great release at 12.36 p.m. Central Time. HTV is in retreat mode and currently drifting away from the station.